What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Roast Network. We got another fight off that great Lomachenko versus Ortiz fight card. My vote for fight card of the year, probably. It was a bunch of young prospects against tough competition. It's Quincy Lavalese. 14, 3 and 1 with 9 knockouts. And he's up there against 7 and 0, 4 knockouts. This is another one of those Timothy Bradley double stamp prospects. Troy Isley. So let's get to it, everybody. What do you say? Real, official, authentic sports takes. Roast Network. Like I mentioned, Isley is another Timothy Bradley double stamp prospect. Another Olympian also. And this is a guy I was pretty excited to see. This, uh... I believe this guy might have one of the brighter futures. As you see here, he comes out strong. His defense is one of his main components. His defense is so good. His footwork, his hands, he sees the punches coming. It allows him to pick you off and snipe. Now this Quincy Lavalace is no slouch at all. Good pro. Like I said, Isley is just very technical. Looking very good here. Very comfortable in the first round. First round I would say goes to Isley. Round two, Troy Isley still looking really good. One of Quincy Lavalace's losses was to another young prospect, Xander Zayas, about eight months ago. Xander gave him everything and could not finish him. Went the full rounds. This Lava Lace kid is extremely durable, extremely tough. Here you start to see he does connect, he just doesn't have much power in his shots. So most of the fight is him trying to fight off Troy Isley. And Isley is gonna start ripping a lot of uppercuts and body shots for the rest of the fight. Lavales likes to come in with his head down and try to smother you. So Isley would stick to the jab when he was outside. Just like this nice jab hook combo to end the round. But Isley would stick to the jab when he was outside. And then when he got in close, he would go body and uppercut quite often in this fight. There's some more right there. This Quincy Lavalace is a tough kid. 14, 3, and 1. His three not come to opponents who are combined. 32, 1, and 1. So he fights high quality opposition. There's a beautiful body shot by Troy Isley. As you see, Lavalace does connect from time to time. It just doesn't have any steam on it. The announcers mentioned it's almost like he's sparring out there, like he's hitting a bag. And that's what he does. He throws a lot of these combinations and they land, but they don't really do anything. And at this point, Isley just kind of starts taking complete control of the fight. I 
think he realized there's nothing that Lava Lace has that will really hurt him. Beautiful right hand right here. Wow. Like I said, Lava Lace is extremely durable and will take shots like that all night. But from this point on, Isley kind of takes over control physically, mentally. Round four, this would be another nice Troy Isley round in which he just pressures, connects repeatedly throughout the round. Pretty much dictating the whole first four rounds of this fight. At this point, I had it definitely 4-0 Troy Isley. See how comfortable Isley is there in the pocket. It might just be because he knows Lava Lace doesn't really have anything to hurt him. But it's also because, as you see here, his defense is just on point. Although he did get caught with a little jab right there. But for the most part, yeah, his defense is just on point. A lot like that uh, Abdullah Mason that we saw earlier. Footwork very important. His feet are just always in the right place. Here he is just kind of resting here at the end and still getting the better of pretty much every exchange. Lavalace would hit him with a couple. He hit him with four or five hard shots. Hard shots. So round five here, Lava Lace is going to try to turn it up a little bit. Like I said, he is a pro who's fought high caliber fighters. Kind of guy who's going to be basically a gatekeeper for the next 10 years or so. If you can't really beat Lava Lace, you can't really move up and fight big names. But he is going to put in more of an effort here. I'm also not sure if it was Isley just kind of taking a little breather. But this is the theme of the fight, no matter how hard Lava Lace tries, Isley just gets the better of almost every exchange. Beautiful uppercut left. Lava Lace just keeps pressing forward, pressing forward right here. He has never been stopped in his career. Extremely durable, tough guy. Can take not just a shot, multiple shots. That was probably one of the closest rounds of the fight. I still gave it to Isley. I could see somebody giving it to Lava Lace. Round six here is gonna be a lot of the same. Isley controlling every encounter. Lava Lace giving a lot of effort. Pretty good showing, a gritty showing. So the theme of the night was testing of these young top rank prospects. And to this point, every prospect has really kind of come through looking good. Troy Isley, no different. The defense, beautiful. Head movement, he sees everything coming. Just always out of range. So here, I'm not sure, maybe both guys just kind of got tired, but they're just gonna kind of stand there and do some inside fighting for the most of this round. 
Again though, same as everything else, Isley would get the better of almost every exchange. Beautiful uppercut left that was working all night. Just Isley with a good game plan. Knew who he was fighting. Just beautiful body work here by Isley. This kid, I think, could be one of the guys. Looks like Troy Isley could be a serious contender in another six, seven years. He's only 24 years old. In most of his other fights, he showed a lot of power. I think the thing is, Quincy Lavalace is just one of those guys with a rubber neck, and he can just take every shot you give him. Like I said, if you want, go back and check that Xander Zayas fight against Quincy Lavalace. He landed some hellacious shots. Looked like Lavalace was in trouble multiple times, and he made it through the whole eight rounds. Here's Isley trying to close the show. Isley, I think, wanted to be the first one to stop him. But as you see, Chico can just take multiple shots and somehow still stand there and keep going. You gotta give him a lot of credit. Guys like Quincy Lavalace are actually kind of what make boxing so great. You need guys like this to test your up and comers with. He's gonna have a good 10 year career of this. There's a nice shot by Lavalace, but this is pretty much it. He tried the whole time. Quincy Lavalace. What a great fight by both guys. Both guys. And the referee. Good referee. We've had some questionable refereeing in this card. This was a beautiful fight all night. Back and forth. Like I said, Quincy Lavalace really made it a good fight. Never ran from Isley. Tried to stand and fight the whole time. Just didn't work. My card, I had 80 to 72. Isley winning every round. So the official cards, two judges were 80, 72, and one judge was 79, 73. Troy Isley, of course. Definite winner in the fight. Looked great. I think he's ready to step it up fight some bigger guys I would really like to see that he's extremely solid but a really good test form so what do you guys think how about Xander Zayas in a couple years who would you like to see Troy Isley fight next what do you think is gonna happen and just I think gonna be a great pro all right everybody thanks for watching roast network we'll catch you on the next episode don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. It's been real. See ya.